WSYR-TV Syracuse, the local station. You're watching the morning news. Good morning, I'm Kate Douglas. It's 7.30. If you're just starting your Saturday, thanks for joining us. We're going to start off with our local holiday forecast. Here's Storm Team Meteorologist Lindsay Rachel. Lindsay, raincoats today, but maybe some more sunscreen tomorrow? Yeah, I think that's exactly going to be the case. So at least we've got some dry time in the forecast. It's nothing like the Memorial Day weekend forecast. So there's good. some good news there. Good. We just have to get through the clouds and through the showers for today. We've got the clouds certainly all across central New York. Our temperature at the airport, it's 63. It's nice and comfortable this morning. If you want to go out for a walk, there is some dry spots. But there are some showers, especially south and southeast of Syracuse for this morning. This afternoon, some heavy downpours are possible. Some some thunderstorms are possible too, so keep tabs on the radar if you are going to be out and about. We do have temperatures in the low 70s. Some areas will struggle to get out of the 60s, especially east of I-81 today. I think that's where the showers and storms will be most numerous. But we do have some dry weather ahead for Sunday, some warmer weather too. We'll take a look at that in just a few minutes. Kate. Lindsay, thanks. No word on any arrests yet after a 35-year-old man was shot and killed early yesterday morning in Syracuse. It happened around 2 a.m. Police were called to Merrill Street near Lemoyne Avenue. The man was shot in the chest. He died before medics could get him to the hospital. The investigation is ongoing and anyone with information or who saw what happened is encouraged to call Syracuse Police at 315-442-5222. And DeWitt police want to reel in this fishy looking suspect who, sh who struck an aquarium supply store. They need your help identifying the man caught on camera stealing plants outside of Syracuse Aquarium and Pond on North Street in Jamesville. Here are a few surveillance images of him and his motorcycle. If you can help, call or email DeWitt police, tips at townofdewitt.com. And if you need to see the photos again, they're posted at onthelookout.net. If you're planning on driving to July 4th celebrations this weekend, police ask you do it responsibly. Police agencies will be out in full force, stepping up DWI crackdowns. The 4th of July weekend is historically a deadly period for drunk driving. Since the holiday lands on a Sunday this year, patrols will be increasing today and running through next week. Police recommend planning ahead with safe options to get home. Now, there will also be plenty of people enjoying the water this weekend, and you'll likely run into some new boaters. News Channel 9's Julia LeBlanc visited Seneca Lake in Geneva to show us how to stay safe. Many central New Yorkers are gearing up to spend some time on the water this weekend. My sister and her family are coming from South Dakota, so we're putting the jet ski in the water, we're putting the boat in the water. They really don't have lakes like this, so they're pretty excited. And there will be a lot of other newcomers with boat sales skyrocketing in the last year. Everybody can be a boater. Dave White with Sea Grant spends most of his time educating everybody about how to stay safe on the water. And it starts before leaving the boat launch. It's just like getting ready to go on a road trip. You know, you got the snacks, you got the water, you got all the gear you want to have on board. And that's just going to make it a great trip. You're not going to have to worry about it, and you're prepared if something does go wrong. The number one thing you need before heading out on the water is a life jacket for anybody on board. It can be simple as this inflatable life jacket that I have here, which simply inflates. You put it right on. You can find this at your local boating store. And you have to have a whistle attached to it or some kind of sound producing device. And always keep your eye on the sky. It's really watching for, you know, that wind. If you start to feel that wind coming up, especially depending on the body of water you're on, because it's really going to start to create that wave action. And depending on the size of boat you're on, you may get into a, you know, an unsafe situation. 90% of the time doesn't go wrong. So plan for the 10% and enjoy the 90% when we're out on these great waterways. Waterways bringing people from all over. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a perfect spot. To have a safe, and fun holiday weekend. In Geneva, Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9. White recommends taking a boating safety course before heading out this weekend. You can find online classes on the State Parks Department website, and young kids can take the classes too. Many will also be cooking at home, but health experts are reminding those having cookouts that food safety is especially critical in warmer, humid temperatures. A food that is cold or hot and does not remain that temperature provides a chance for any bacteria in that item to multiply. 
older people, young children, pregnant women, someone on chemotherapy or anyone who has a deficient immune system, they can get a very serious infection. Some ways to prevent sickness include cleaning hands and surfaces, keeping raw meat separate from other foods to avoid cross-contamination, and heating foods to the proper internal temperature by using a thermometer. Now, Lindsay, I know a lot of us are stocking up on all that barbecue food, getting mm -hmm. ready. Fortunately, the weather would look better for tomorrow for our barbecues, right? Yeah, today you'll be dodging some raindrops. Tomorrow, I think, will be better. It's not too humid tomorrow okay. either, but that starts cranking up on Monday. Okay, well, we'll enjoy tomorrow while we get it. Yes. Perfect. So weather next, then, hitting the open road. Why there's a large demand for RVs this summer and how long it could take to get one. The new app that's offering truly unlimited storage to back up all of the photos and videos on your phone for just $10 a year. And your first year is just a dollar. I'm Rich Demiro. I'll have details coming up in TechSmart. You're watching The Morning News with Adrian Smith and Storm Team.